Have you heard of the marshmallow test before? What it does is put a marshmallow in front of a young child and ask them to say, you can eat it now, or if you don't eat it in 15 minutes, we're going to give you two. And then the researcher left the room. Now, for a child, it's like a wrestling match. Should I eat it now, the good, or I eat it later, better? Today, I entitled uh, the passage in Mark 12, Good, Better, Best. We find that the stripe who knows God's heart chose good, but the poor widow chose the best, the good. The stripe asked Jesus, what's the greatest commandment? Jesus explained to him what it is. The stripe then say that, uh, it is more important to love God wholeheartedly and love others like ourselves. Jesus said, you are not far from the kingdom of God. Knowing this fact, make us very close to the kingdom of God. Better. Now the stripes, the Pharisees and the Sadducees come and trap Jesus. But Jesus didn't do the same to them. He asked them a profound questions in Psalms 1110. And basically he's saying, do you know who I am? I'm not only the son of David, but I am the Lord of David. I am the Messiah and I am God. Knowing Jesus is God draws even closer to what God wants us to do. It's better. Third thing is the best. Jesus then compares two groups of people, the stripes the noble stripes, and the lowly widow. Jesus condemned of the stripes that they love themselves more than God and their hypocritical and the devout widows. Whereas Jesus highly praised and commended the widow that she gave sacrificially from the property that she had she gave to God. Jesus said, if you want to be, to be my disciple, you must deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow me. The best is to follow Jesus' example. My application is, today we can choose anything we want, but we cannot have everything. Life is full of choices. We need to choose Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And as Easter season comes, we need to reflect deeply on the sacrificial love of Jesus dying for us on the cross. And we need to follow him even more. It's my prayer that reflecting on love of God will only propel us to even love him more and to sacrifice even more for him um, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.